Hey, what's going on, guys? Today is the 11th of June, 2017. I'm going to be going over this week's trade ideas. First one on the list this week is PSX. PSX, what, uh, what I'm looking at on this chart is we had a nice strong move on Friday session and I, I'm looking for some extension for some continuation off of this trade so what I'm thinking is the chart pulls back some enough obviously to give us a proper trade entry on here and I'm looking for an area somewhere closer to about seventy eight dollars and fifty cents on the chart in order to give us a proper um, a proper long trade so on PSX I'm thinking we could come down somewhere closer to about $78.50 in order for us to get some strength on the chart and some possible long entry areas for $78.10 for PSX. I'm also looking at GEO, G-E-O. Um, I feel like these, um, these, these charts are starting to come to the upside and we have a, a nice little flag breakout to the upside along with it. And um, off the strength of these two candle moves, I would expect to see a pullback. So what I'm looking for is a decent pullback on it. I think actually the chart has a bigger pullback than, uh, than, than, than you would think, especially being that it's sitting right at the double top. And so I'm actually kind of looking for the chart to probably pull back a lot of this move. And so I would be expecting to see somewhere closer to about 32 for a long entry. So... Right now where it sits, it's a, uh, it's a pretty simple chart to trade if you're just day trading it. For example, if it breaks over Friday session high, you take it on the long side. Obviously, a chart's going to then be breaking further to the upside. If you're waiting for a pullback on it, though, I would expect the chart to pull back a lot more before the chart was to get going. So for me, if I'm looking for, a, for just a, a quick move intraday, it can come as as quickly as a break over Friday session high, which puts us into a long setup, or a decent pullback, which may not happen right away come Monday or Tuesday, but it may happen further down during the week. So again, remember these are weekly trade ideas, not necessarily just the day after um, trade setups. CJ, um, thinking this chart's probably starting to set up like it wants to move a nice strong bullish candle. And um, we are coming right up into a flat top area for a possible swing trade. But before that happens, you have to get yourself an entry. I think if the chart was to pull back in on this chart, somewhere closer to about $33.75, which kind of coincides a little bit here with the, with the 50 EMA and probably the 13 EMA also. And so pull back on this one to about $33.75 gets us that long entry and a possible hold on CJ for a continuation and maybe even a swing trade. Number four on the list is OZRK. Here's a chart that is reclaiming the, uh, the 200 SMA and also broke over the 50 EMA on the same day. I think the chart probably does have a little bit more strength to the upside. I'd be long on this one if it broke over Friday session high. If we were to get a, a, a small pullback on it, even if it pulls back to about $47.50 and, and range, I think it could be a possibility for a decent trade on OZRK. So remember again what we have. We have a 200 SMA and we have a 50 EMA at the same time as the chart's trying to break over these two areas. TSCO number five on the list I'm thinking the chart has a nice strong area of interest here what I'd like to see is I would like to see a, a little pullback on this one to take it on long I think the chart pulls back to about fifty dollars fifty five dollars sorry fifty five dollars and and ninety seven cents so let's just call it about fifty six dollars on this chart if we're gonna pull back to about fifty six dollars on this chart so we're looking basically for a dollar off the top right now where it is at fifty seven so pull back to about $56, gets us a decent strength coming off of this pivot point, puts us into a long scenario and a possible move for a couple days hold if the chart was to continue to move. Number six on the list is EAT, E-A-T. I do like this strong candle coming off on Friday session. I feel like we can have a possible move on this one. 
break over Friday session high would get you an intraday trade, but a break over $41.59 actually gets you into a bigger trend play. So for this one, I think that I would rather play it on a pullback. So I'd rather get into the trade before, so that way if it fails to break to the upside, at least I know my, my entry is kind of going to keep me in there. I'm thinking somewhere closer to about $40.75 on this one. A decent pullback to $40.75 should be enough to try to get us to make that move to the upside. If you get to make the move to the upside, then you keep some of the chart for the continuation. If you fail to break the top, at least you have enough in here where it should be enough to get you out of the chart safely without taking a loss. MDSO. Uh, I'm looking for a short on this one. Nice bearish engulfing at the top on Friday session. I'm thinking we can get a little pop on the chart, something to short into. I'm thinking we could pop to about $77.30, somewhere around there. So I'm looking for $77.30. I'm feeling like a lot of the charts that came down hard on Friday are possibly going to have some early retrace moves. And so this is obviously one of them also that I'm looking for that same sort of play. So I'm looking for a push into the open on Friday, um, from Friday's move. And then a short entry on MDSO, somewhere closer to about $77.30. Number eight on the list is LB. Um, LB, I'm looking for a long play on this one. If you look at a bigger time frame on this chart, it, it, it has been stuck in a range here for a little bit. And I feel like we should be able to get a breakout on this chart soon enough. So... For right now, what the what the chart is where where the chart is at, and it seems like it wants to curl to the upside. I think if you can get yourself into a position on this one, somewhere closer to about fifty one dollars and fifty cents, you could probably have a long trade entry at about fifty one dollars and fifty cents. Number nine on the list is FSLR. What I'm looking for in this one is I'm looking for a possible short. Now that the chart has broken down this pivot point here, I would like to be short on it. I think a push up to the $37.15 gets you into that short position on FSLR. And I would like to um, I would like to see the chart um, settle actually somewhere closer to about $34.50. Number 10 on the list is restoration hardware. I feel like this chart is just about ready to start coming back to the downside and so what I'm looking for in restoration hardware is I think that we're, we're somewhere close to about where the 50% retrace area is and I would like to see the short somewhere close to right where we're at. So I'm thinking this $51 level for a swing short on restoration hardware should be able to get us back to the downside on this chart. The bounce play was beautiful. Um, but now I'm looking for a swing short on Restoration Hardware. So those are the names for this week. Again, remember, these are um, trade ideas. And so then, obviously, you have to wait for these charts to set up. If they don't come into play, then they never should have been taken in the first place. Have a great week, guys.